Planet Earth is a crowded place and it will be getting more crowded in the years to come. The world population is now about 7 billion, but that is expected to jump to about 12 billion in the year 2100. Part of that is due to average life expectancy reaching 100 years old or more by the end of the century. All those people will create more demands for food and put greater demands on the environment. In the October issue of Atlantic Magazine, contributing editor Greg Easterbrook writes about the consequences of rising longevity. Greg, good morning. Good morning. I've never heard someone say we need to cure age. It's such an interesting way to think about aging. Why are we seeing people live longer, though, at base? Oh, it's been going on for almost two centuries. It's a, there's an eerie chart that we show in Atlantic Monthly since the year 1840. With each passing year, the newly born lived three months longer than the previous year. And this holds during wars, during epidemics, doesn't seem to link to any particular event, good or bad. Uh, Worldwide, everyone's steadily living longer, and the trend is likely to continue. You've got Google, which announced its Calico project aimed at ending aging and even death, and then you've got this uh, group called the Buck Institute that's also studying aging. W what are they actually finding? Well, Google just brought its billions of dollars into this field, and of course, when we hear the word Google, we all say, oh, wow, wow, Google, this is exciting. Well, it is exciting. The Buck Institute has only existed for 15 years. It has a dreamlike headquarters in Marin County, California, the hippest place on earth, overlooking San Francisco Bay. And they're working on ways to reduce, not just aging, but to reduce decline of health and aging. In, order, in other words, to increase health span, not just lifespan. A generation ago, a researcher would have said, you're out of your mind to think that aging can be cured. Now that thought only seems somewhat crazy, not completely crazy. It seems so logical that they would think we should get centarians together and study them. A place like Japan, where you see so many people living so much longer, have they been able to learn something by studying the group that ages longest? S studying the oldest people has not been the gold mine that researchers had hoped. There's a federal project called the Baltimore Longitudinal Study of Aging that's been ongoing since the 1950s, and it has not been able to to figure out why some people live longer than others. Whether it's genetic environment, it's still a mystery. So what's some of the most promising research that's being done now then? Well, there is some hope that biotech will lead to a breakthrough in slowing the rate of aging so that the chronic diseases that we associate with aging, heart disease, arthritis, Alzheimer's, etc., chronic diseases of aging are already the top four killers in the United States. If we could slow those, you'll never eliminate those diseases, but if their onset could be slowed, people would enjoy their retirement years more, they'd be able to work longer, contribute, support themselves. The, the goal of anti-aging research is not immortality, that will never happen, but to slow the onset of the chronic diseases of aging, that actually seems fairly promising. I think a lot of people, though, would think, I don't know if I really want to live to 100. It sounds like this new research, though, is saying it's not necessarily about lifespan. There's some component of health span, making you actually be 100, but be healthy and fit during that time. Exactly. If you if you could live to 100 in a debilitated condition, yeah. staring off into space, being attended by some robot, who would want that? Mm -hmm. But if you're healthy in the last third of life, and you can enjoy life and contribute and work, I think most people would opt for that. Fascinating. It's a fascinating story, Greg, and, and, and your study shows that if we continue with the present pace, we'll be we'll live to be 100 on average in 2084. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Greg Easterbrook, thank you so much. Thank you, guys.